So, hello YouTube. What I have in front of me is actually something I bought off of a well, flea market. I went to Hrelic with my friend and this keyboard, Lenovo, was around 15 cents. True story. And uh, I did bought this server, which was around 6 bucks. Seriously. So, uh, let me show you what I got for well, 6 bucks. So, this is the uh, ProLiant HP ML350. And uh, as you can see, uh, there's actually an IP address uh, in here. So, wow. Okay. What do we have? We have 162 uh, gigabyte hard drive, DVD ROM. Well, this is basically to USB. And this is uh, so generation 5. So let me go on the other side. So there are actually two power supplies, which is kind of nice, and two fans. So let's take, oh, this power supply is quite heavy. So this is a DPS 800, I believe this is it, yes, 800 watts, which is a quite good power supply for, well, three bucks, I guess. So there are two of these. I will be actually placing the models in the uh, well description. Okay. So basically, this is uh, since this is the older computer, the I/O is as is. So these are the PS2s. This is the VGA. This is the uh, serial port. Two USBs. Two networks. Integrated lights and the uh, well, LAN. Kind of cool, I guess. And you know what? Uh, let's disassemble it and <laughs> let's take a look at what's inside. Now, um, the starting price for this was uh, around 200 kunas, which was, uh, which is uh, about 30 bucks, something like that. So yeah, 30 bucks versus 6 bucks. Okay. Now, this is a cool diagram, seriously. I think that every, uh, there's even... There is even a diagram on how to install a CPU. This is probably the cache or something like that. I'm not quite sure. This might be for the hard drive con controller. I'm not quite sure. I already see the issue with this motherboard. So, first of all, as you can see, the fan is quite dirty. And uh, let's zoom in. Let's see how much. That is actually one gig of uh, DDR2. ECC memory, integrated ILO, this is the connector for another CPU, oh boy, this is the battery pack, for what, oh, maybe for this thing, yeah, this is the uh, caching card for the hard drives, 128 megabytes, not greatest, but definitely not the worst. So you know what, but oh yeah, as you can see, this is probably why this thing has been thrown away. As you can see, every single comp capacitor is well bulged. As you can see, this one even has some uh, acid on top of it. So you know what, uh, I'll actually try to turn this thing on. So the computer can work without this thing, so this is not uh, needed. So this is the uh, display card and uh, well, uh, I believe this is the network. So 64-bit PCI, PCI Express. Battery for the BIOS, which is probably dead. I will be testing it. Yeah, this is actually quite nice. Okay. Hmm. Does not sound promising. Let's connect the uh, well, keyboard and the... Uh, but you know... I don't think so. uh, I don't think that this thing will work. There are too many fucked up capacitors. So um, <laughs> this thing actually has no way. Oh, cool lights. So uh, this one is blinking. Either this one or this one. I'm not quite sure because uh, one power supply is not connected. It can work without uh, a power supply. This is UID. So when you turn this thing on, you actually get a blue LED somewhere in here, as you can see. And this is uh, to, uh, well, if you have multiple servers, to know which one you're working on. 
However, oh boy, this is very dirty. So I can turn the UID off. Wait, yeah. However, there is no picture on the screen. And this is not due to this. I believe this is due to capacitors. So you know what? I'll, uh, I'll remove the entire motherboard and replace all of the capacitors, which will either prove to be stupid or well it won't so you know what this thing is not working so let's disassemble the motherboard i wonder <laughs> if we'll actually find out who was the owner of this server and whether they uh, deleted all of the data or not this will be an interesting uh, repair well to be fair i can actually connect this thing because i have a sas controller and i can actually connect this thing and read the data off of it but I want to boot off of this thing and actually have a software called Conboot so even if it is password protected we'll be able to log in as local administrator uh, without no problems. Now I can actually remove the monitor and whatnot because well they're kind of useless at this point. I'll actually you know what uh, this thing looks a bit bloated and I'll just replace this thing with another battery with well somewhat uh, same specs so this might be a better angle and there are so many screws in here and they are well quite long now to be honest i'm not quite sure whether i have capacitors of this value I even, have, even if i have the uh, enough of them but we'll see And I will be actually replacing the uh, old thermal paste as well. So, let's see how to remove this thing. I'm assuming you just press it. Yes. So, now I need to remove the cooler. And this is actually, the design is great because uh, it is so easy to well. Okay, do I need to remember how this thing works? Okay, so this one in here and this one is in here so just so to know we have to connect fan but to be fair i don't think that that is uh, well necessary to know and i think i actually have a uh, even uh, memory such as this one which is i guess kind of awesome because then i can upgrade it now however i'm not quite sure whether i have the capacitors or not so yeah quite dirty as well and the thermal paste is well now to be fair uh, well to be fair hp's thermal paste is shit even when it's new so i think i need to remove the uh, heat sinks as well oh, that sucks okay so i can actually remove the motherboard now the value of this capacitor is 470 microfarads and 16 volts and i do have a couple of those and this one is 1016 so you know what let's go and try to replace those capacitors now i might actually replace all of them that have uh, the same value because well most of them are fucked up so yeah they're probably all going to be fucked up sooner or later. So yeah, this thing is also in here repair. But as you can see, I have quite a lot of capacitors because they are well, generally the only problem. So 470, 16. I think I have enough. And to be fair, these are not the greatest, but they will last you like two years. So good enough. Might use this one. This one I want 25. You know what I use this one. This one are better. So yeah, sorry about the lighting, but yeah. Anyway, uh, there we go. I can actually turn this thing on. And I have a LED strip in here. Let's see whether this thing... Okay, so this is a bit better. So, some... You know what, I'll even replace this battery because this thing is probably dead. So, yeah, I'll do that later on. <laughs> okay, so well, where do we start? Well, from the beginning, I guess. 
So this one. Well, let's see whether these things will be easy or not. Some are, some aren't. Okay. Uh, you know what? I could have removed this plastic as well. Okay. Oh, this thing will be very nice to remove because this capacitor is actually it went out rather easily. So always observe the polarity where the minus is. So let's see. So this bloody thing took me an entire hour. But as you can see, all of the capacitors are new. And I replaced, I did not replace these two. I still need to replace these two, although they're not bulged. I don't know whether you can see it or not. But all of them have failed, so uh, I'll replace these two. And uh, we'll see you back in the uh, living room. Also, this is the uh, Xeon uh, 2.0 GHz, 4 MB of cache. Not that bad. So, just to show you, these are the capacitors I have replaced, including this one, which is the uh, bigger one. So, yeah, I actually forgot to cut this one. <laughs> uh, I do need to clean this thing as well and be right back. Oh, yeah, I also need to, well, clean this thing as well. Well, that was easy. Snapping fingers is awesome. Yeah. Okay. Now, I actually need to clean this thing as well, but we'll cross the bridge when we get there. So, let's install everything back in and uh, let's see whether this thing works or not. I do hope it works because if not, I have lost like an hour and a half for nothing. You know what I'm thinking? I'll actually keep this thing for myself. This is a good investment. If this thing works, I will be actually keeping this thing for myself. Because I do need some kind of server. And this thing is actually good enough. And since I can replace the capacitors, there is nothing really much that can go wrong with this thing. Basically, the only thing that ever goes wrong with such devices are, well, capacitors. So yeah, I did not replace one capacitor. Well, to be fair, it is midnight and 30, so... Yeah. I mean, the capacitor is not faulty, so... It is okay, but since most of them have exploded... Still needs to clean the uh, all this thing off of the CPU and apply new thermal paste. The thing you hear exploding is my uh, UPS. For some reason, it likes to do that. It always did. But I guess since everything is quiet at well at midnight thirty, um, yeah, probably sounds way louder than it is. Well, this thing will be fun. Did I spend one and a half hours for nothing? Or, well, for nothing. Let's be let, let's be real. This thing is not the uh, well, greatest hardware there is. So yeah, no need to get. No, I did not. Oh, yes, yes. So something is happening. <laughs> awesome. I try to press F1 or delete. I'm not quite sure. Okay, fan missing. Critical failure detected system shutting down. Bloody HP. 
I need to reinstall fans. But this thing is working. Fuck yeah. So I did clean this thing and fun fact. Um, you can actually open this thing by just pressing and pulling this thing upwards. It is a bit hard. But as you can see, there are actually two fans inside. So one in here and one in here. Go figure. I'm assuming that it helps with airflow or whatnot, you know. Anyway, let's try and well, put this thing back to cool the memory. Kind of neat system, but when it comes to enterprise, HP knows their shit, so. So uh, this is the uh, battery. I believe I can just slip that thing in. So dual core to gigahertz. And yeah, uh, I don't need to connect the hard drives. I forgot to uh, connect that. So let's turn this thing off. Set the uh, bus battery and connect to the hard drives. Now there is no point in me installing the caching controller because the system does not use a caching controller if the uh, well the battery is not present. And since I did not uh, solder battery onto this, there is no need for me to well, in install it because it will be useless. Anyway, let's try and see whether this thing will boot into or something. Uh, yeah, this is the uh, monitor that I got from a friend. She told me I gave it to her, but to be fair, I do not remember. So yeah, two gigs of RAM. I don't know whether you can see it. This thing actually says the, the uh, power supply is not redundant, which is not. Integrated lights out configuration. So E200 controller. And let's see whether it will detect the hard drive. You know what? I'll try to put the uh, well, caching inside. It might be that uh, well, it shouldn't, but it might be that it does not work without that card, which does not make sense, but we'll see. Okay, so... Uh, the hard drive did blink. Yeah, so, as you can see, uh, it's actually not working without the caching controller. Go figure. Okay, I'm going to press F7 to accept the default configuration. And let's see whether this thing will actually boot or not. Okay. System will boot. But this is a working operating computer. So, yeah. Hmm. I'm actually kind of uh, tempted to uh, see what's on the, the hard drive. So, yeah, uh, this is it for this video. Um, I will be installing a uh, yeah, ESXi onto this thing, uh, there is a free version and this computer is well, weak, enough, weak enough so that it supports free version this is, believe it or not, this is the sound that the uh, CD drive makes and uh, I will be uh, posting another video as an update to this uh, to this video just to show you what I did with the computer and how I've upgraded it so yeah, well until the next time, cheers <laughs>